Hi you guys, so today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Glamour Girls. So now I got this at Dollar General, she was $10, very inexpensive doll, okay? She's $10, you know, generic -y type doll, we all know a generic doll when we see one. Obviously Dollar General has them, very, very cute. She's got a, a hair extension, she's got um, beads, a comb, hair shoes, brush, very, very cutesy, cutesy doll, you know? Very nice brat doll, definitely size wise. She's definitely a brat doll, you know. She got all this gorgeous long hair. She's rubber. She's has a full head of rooted blonde hair. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys. She's only ten bucks to a Dollar General. I would highly recommend these. I have one to keep and one to collect. This is my one to collect, and I will be showing you my one to keep. Okay. So let's take a look at her. I think she's really, really gorgeous. Um, I did throw away some of her accessories, you guys, and I'm going to let you know why. It's just I don't have no use for them, nor do I think they're actually worth keeping because they're very, very generic -y type accessories. So um, I did keep her bag and her brush. I threw away her beads and her hair extension because the hair extension was basically shedding and not attached to the clip securely it's just rubber banded around it's not nothing that's going to be lasting anytime you know long she does come with uh, a brush and a um cute little purse which is really nice it's something that you do need for your doll especially with all this hair um she is the same size as a brat doll which i was i was not expecting but i kind of thought about it after a while and i said wow she's actually the same size as a brat doll which is great right she's got long um like uh, blonde hair. I didn't see a black girl, which is strange because they just had the white dolls, but I didn't see any black girls. So as far as I know, they only come in this color, skin tone. Um, they didn't, as far as I know, as far as I've seen in the store, they didn't, I didn't see any black girls, but, but she is cute nonetheless. She is a very gorgeous blonde haired doll. So regardless of skin tone or whatever, she is a gorgeous doll. She does have a ton of blonde hair that you could play with. It comes with beads, so if you guys are really good with beads and different things like that, and you you know how to braid and sit there and put the little beads on there and you get the blue hair extension, I mean, obviously you can um, do what you want with her, you know what I'm saying? She's very, very gorgeous. I'm going to tell you guys, she's got a full head of rooted hair. rooted hair, do you see that? Just like a Barbie doll, you guys, honestly. Just like a Barbie doll, she's rooted with a lot of hair, okay? She's basically a brat doll, basically the same sizing, as far as I could tell. Um, it is Halloween wig hair, so it's going to be fly away. It's, it hasn't, like, I'm still able to run my fingers through it, but I know if you guys have ever owned a Halloween wig, you know it's going to be a hot mess within, like, a week's time, at least. I'd give it about a week if you give this to a child. It will be a hot mess. I, I'm assuming that they do have a locking stitch in there, because why, why would they root all this hair in the scalp? if they didn't have a locking stitch in the hair. That's the one thing that I really don't know as far as that is concerned. So, I mean, she's a really, really nice quality doll. She's rubber, which is something that I was not expecting. I thought, you guys, honestly, I thought she was gonna be plastic. Like, but she's cute though. She's a little cute rubber doll. She is built to last. I could say that for 100% positive. Not as far as the hair, but maybe the body is very durable so if you know your little tips and tricks everybody's got their own little things that they do with long hair either they're gonna braid it or you know but she doesn't really have too much shedding either she had a few pieces that came out when I first purchased her she did have a couple pieces out um it is a gorgeous doll she is pretty much a brat size doll so if you guys have brats clothes they should fit her I'm assuming I don't know own any brat dolls but so as far as size comparison and body type definitely brats uh doll size and this is one of them dolls that i would say is definitely worth it you guys you can get this from dollar general look how cute she is i mean honestly very very gorgeous doll um she's got a one-piece outfit it does the hair does tend to get caught in the velcro area right here so make sure i just check the velcro in the back so it doesn't snarl and snag the outfit um the hair itself this hair is very static-y, so it's going to be fly away. So if you guys got them little tricks that you know for fly away hair, she's got that issue. And as you can see, I'm combing my fingers through it. And sometimes you're going to get like a little snarl or a little snag. And it's nothing that you can just kind of do with your hand, just separate it like that. And this is my one to keep, and I have one to collect. I bought two of these because these dolls are really, really gorgeous. Um... So, um, definitely I would buy this for a child. This is very durable. 
and even for collector purposes, if you're a box collector or if you're um out, out of the box collector, you guys, she's a really really gorgeous doll. Like honestly, gorgeous. I do plan on using her for future videos, so you you're gonna see her just like you'll see the Amigo doll and you'll see stuff you love. You'll see them in videos in the future, obviously. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this really cute doll, and just remember like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.